The third and last of the special buttons we use in trigonometry is the tan button. You can enter an angle like 54 degrees and find its tangent by pressing this button. TOA is a memory key, just to help you remember the tan formula. The T in TOA stands for tan, which comes first in our formula. The O stands for opposite, which comes on the top of the other side. And then the A stands for adjacent, which comes last on the bottom of the other side. Remember, in trigonometry, we always round off to four decimal places. If we enter tan of 30 degrees into our calculator, we get a long decimal that starts with 0 0.57735. Since the fifth number is a 5, and that's greater than 4, we will round the fourth number up by 1. So our answer will be 0 0.5774. Remember that your calculator has to be in degree mode whenever you do trigonometry. To get this type of calculator in degree mode, you press the mode button and 4. In example 1, we have a 28 degree angle with an adjacent side that is equal to 40, and we want to know the length of the opposite side. We fill in our TOA formula like this, tan of 28 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. The tan of 28 degrees is equal to 0 0.5317. So we replace it in the formula with 0 0.5317. Then, since our variable is being divided by 40, we multiply both sides by 40, and we get this. X is equal to 21.2684. We have our answer. In example two, we have a 41 degree angle. The opposite side is 1.9, and we are looking for the adjacent side. Our TOA formula looks like this. Tan of 41 degrees is equal to opposite 1.9 over adjacent x. We replace tan of 41 degrees with its value from the calculator, which is 0 0.8693. 0 0.8693 equals 1.9 over x. And then, since our variable is in the denominator, we do the trade. x is equal to 1.9 divided by 0 0.8693. which is equal to 2.1857. X is equal to 2.1857. In example three, we are looking for this angle theta, which has an adjacent side of eight and an opposite side of 11. Our TOA formula looks like this. Tan of theta equals 11, the opposite, over eight, the adjacent. 11 divided by 8 gives us 1.375. So tan of theta is equal to 1.375. To find angle theta, we just do second tan in the calculator. And we have theta is equal to 53.9726 degrees. Always remember to include your unit of measure. Now that you've learned how to use the TOA formula, you will practice with an exercise sheet. Example 1 is a model to help you do questions 1A, 1B, and 1C. Example 2 is a model for questions 2A, 2B, 2C. Example 3 is a model for questions 3A, 3B, 3C. And question 4ABC presents one of each type in random order.